Vivo Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we're making the cut for today farmer shot dead, Olard found in shallow grave, guns and ammunition seized. A farmer known as Devon, aka Kenan, was shot and killed yesterday evening in Brownsall, St. Catherine. He was on his way home from his farm when he was shot, then robbed by gunmen. His vehicle reportedly crashed after. So the people him said Donovan is a hard working farmer and a very easy going person. But the question now is why them dash for Donovan like that? Why? Why them choose to go after Donovan? We don't know what Donovan might get mixed up in her or we don't know what him and nobody might have for them come after him like this. But unfortunately, them rob the man, shot the man, then set him care for go crash with him. Mm hmm But me I try to understand to myself like why them send the care go crash after them shot him. But then again, me I said probably them shot him and him never dead. So them just make the car go crash with him to finish him off. Me even I wonder to myself if I really rob them just go for rob him. And because him I resist, them just decide say, you hear me? We are going to dirt the money, you know, because him I give it too much trouble. One thing people, more here want to think about this story down in the comment section because boy me just can't stand for years of the people them go up on them hard working job and then them just lose them life because over them own things it no fear none tall just imagine so the man go in a sun hat in a rain go plant him thing them he might go back go reap them off to keep the farm clean and all of that and at the end of the day him not supposed to enjoy him own labor Euro 40, man. The anti lottery scheme task force of the constabulary force sees two semi automatic pistols, including an extended magazine, over 100 rounds of ammunition during an operation in Cambridge, St. James, this morning. My question is how comes so much illegal firearms inside of the country? Oh, how them get inside of the country? That is my question. A lot of inside people are work with them bad man, you know. And I go on like say them no know nothing. That's why we forever go have corruption. We forever go have crime. Because nobody now be truthful. Them just act truthful. I just want to sit down and think about it. And then you tell me how comes. How you feel like say all of them guns they get in the country. You tell me. Make it sit down in our brain a little bit and then you tell me down in the comment section. It was recently reported that Nesbet manager was shot in his face earlier today. Nesbet took it to Instagram, placed a photo of him and his manager and captioned it. They shot my road manager in his face and took away his lice firearm. Keep him in your prayers. Jamaica is out of control. Be safe everyone. So viewers and subscribers must see probably about two videos are circulated upon the internet. A lot of people send me it and I say, and this bit road manager that. The man feels literally not dead. It's like half I'm face gone. The shot take off half of the man face literally. I'm not running a joke. I can't even show no sneak peek over here. So that I feel show no how bad it is because I always are going to like a sneak peek. But it is also said that video is a long time video and it have nothing to do with the next bit road manager. But when I sit down and look upon it, I say, you know, say it look like a true, even though the man in the video look like the manager for real, you know. I say, you know, say it look like true. Because why next bit would I say for keep him in your prayers? I tell you, say that the man there from your sit man there, you pronounce him. Mm -hmm. You're not even a look for care that man got doctor the way how him look. So me I said to myself, say that not make no sense. You understand? But if you want to see that video, 
be sure to send me a message on instagram at chop city tv that is c-h-o-p-c-i-t-y underscore tv and make me know say you come about the video and guys be very specific and you only have 24 hours and be sure to follow the page before you day me because once you now follow the movement it even make no sense all of my content are for my supporters so if you don't want my supporters them nobody come in on my dm police investigators are now at a yard in mount Ogo, saint andrew where a body is believed to be of andrew Ollard andrews it was reported that Andrew has been missing since mid-February. The police were called after what appeared to be a shallow grave was discovered. Residents say they have been smelling an odor. Ollard has been missing from February. It is now reported that his body was found in a shallow grave in his own yard. Yes, people, no hear me. So he went missing first and then his body was found in a shallow grave in his yard. The motive for the killing is currently unclear, but investigations are ongoing. So on a stay tuned for the updates. People from the community I said them to know what Ollard could have done because he is such a quiet and humble person. But may I tell you, the way all people are drop like fly these days. Every turn you turn, somebody gone, you know. Sometime all three, four, five for one day. Just like that, you have to wonder. You have to wonder what really I take place around you. But on the stay as safe as possible as you can. Please, me, I beg you. Know, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out.